Hi guys, I'm not wearing any makeup today for this video and the reason is is because I'm going to walk you guys through my step-by-step -step process on how to look prettier without makeup. And the reason I say that is because we're all beautiful, but there are certain things that can really enhance your look and take you from this to the way I look right now and this was me. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Mona and I bring you guys everything from tips and tricks to lifestyle, beauty, and bridal. Don't forget to subscribe, join the family. I bring you guys new videos every week and today's video is actually really exciting because I did it and I don't have to get ready after this. But before we get into the video, I really just wanted to touch base with you guys. I haven't had a statement or said anything on camera about the pandemic yet that we are all experiencing right now and i just want to wish you all a happy and healthy and really safe time right now and i know times are very strange and there's so much going on that we are very uncertain about and i know i'm feeling it personally i know my clients are feeling it personally and um, my family, especially my family as well, and I just want to wish you guys and your families nothing but health and wellness, and I hope you're all hanging in there, and just remember that we're all in this together, and even if you can take 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes out of your day to take care of you, it can really change your entire demeanor. I know I personally fall victim of getting into a habit of not cleaning myself up or not I, I mean obviously shower but not cleaning myself up in a way where like i put myself together and make myself more presentable and i really hope that even while you guys are home you can take some of these tips and tricks and just help boost your confidence and even though you don't feel like getting ready at least put a little bit of effort into the small things that can make you feel and look better all right guys thank you so much and let's just get started so first things first you really want to start your morning off by brushing your teeth Although I didn't record that process, a bright smile will make you feel so much better, plus some good oral hygiene is extremely necessary. I would also then recommend going in with a really good cleanser, one that's gentle enough because we will go in and exfoliate. Here I'm using the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This is one of my personal favorites. It's really gentle on the face and allows for a super deep clean that really helps declog my pores, brighten my face, and really just give me an overall super fresh complexion. Now comes one of the probably most important pieces to this entire video, and that's exfoliating your skin. You really wanna help brighten up your complexion by removing any dead skin cells, removing any layers of makeup or anything that might be left from the night before. You really wanna brighten your skin and eliminate any dryness. I also want you guys to focus on your lips. I feel like our lips are oftentimes just missed or overlooked and everything else gets exfoliated besides our lips. Make sure you're really scrubbing nicely. I'm using the Fresh Sugar Face Polish and really working it into my complexion. Guys, my skin felt so good after this. All right guys, now your skin feels super smooth. I'm going in now with a vitamin C brightening face mask. You can either go in with a brightening face mask or a hydrating one to really help plump up your skin. I'm using the Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask by Fresh, just to really help brighten and even out my entire complexion. So once I rinse my face, my whole face just looks brighter and more even in tone. Although something we don't talk about often, but we all do. I'm just removing some facial hair that I don't want to be a focus on my face between my brows, my stash. I also recommend tweezing your eyebrows. You really want to make sure you have a nice clean brow so that any excess hair does not become a focal point. I know a lot of us suffer with under eye circles, puffiness, darkness. What I would recommend is going in with a brightening eye cream. Here I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream by IT Cosmetics to really help de-puff, brighten my eyes, and eliminate any unwanted darkness that I might initially spot. Plus it helps hydrate and keep my eyes feeling fresh. 
The next step you want to do is really make sure you're going in with a super hydrating moisturizer. You want to bring color and moisture back to your skin while allowing your skin to retain the moisture throughout the day. Here I'm going in with Confidence in a Cream by IT Cosmetics and really massaging it into my skin, allowing for any dryness to disappear so that my skin just feels super plump, hydrated, and refreshed. You really want to massage the product into your complexion, leaving you nice and moisturized. If you're anything like me, I tend to get redness around my nose and around my chin area, my most hormonal parts. So what I'd suggest is going in with a neutralizing primer or a green type of primer to really help combat any color and redness. If you do have a lot of yellow in your skin, you can go in with a purple primer. This was actually the part of the video that I realized something looked off and then I realized my brows looked awful and I had to comb them up. So if you're anything like me, I'd suggest combing them up, combing them into place and really just giving them shape. Something as simple as using a hydrating lip balm can really make you just look more fresh and put together. Go in with a hydrating lip balm and really bring moisture back to those lips, leaving them looking plump and fresh. Also, if you feel like your skin is still lacking the luster that you want, I would recommend going in with a cream highlight. Here I'm going in with High Beam by Benefit. You can either take a pump or a little bit of this and mix it into your moisturizer, or you can put it on top of your moisturizer. As you can see, I'm using it similar to a moisturizer, just massaging it into my skin, really just bringing light back to my face. What this does is it brings light, focus to your face, gives you a slight illuminating finish, leaving your skin looking healthy and glowing. Glowy. This is literally my favorite technique to use to really help brighten up my skin and make me feel better. As you can see here, I'm not too happy with my top knot or the bun that I had in my hair. At this point, what I'm going to do is release my hair, kind of analyze it, how to style it, and I'm going to go change into a brighter shirt to bring light to my face. At this point, I'm curling my lashes, which I highly recommend, guys. If you don't want to wear eye makeup or mascara, a good way to open up your eyes is by curling your lashes and really bringing focus to your eyes. Look at that difference. It really makes a difference and opens up your eyes, making you look a little more polished and put together. The best way to look prettier without makeup is really making sure that your hair is done. And I am a true believer that if your hair looks done, the rest of you looks put together. So I've gone on and blow dried my hair. I'm using the dry bar double shot brush. I actually have a first impressions of it coming for you guys. I recorded it before this video, but it will be coming in a few days. So as you can see, I'm sitting here styling my hair. So make sure you either blow it out or clean up your hair in a style that you prefer and voila so there you go guys it's no secret I used to look at people that had no makeup on and I was like wow how did they look so good and so flawless just all the time and these are the secrets you have to work with other areas if you're not going to wear makeup and I think the key is really just enhancing your skin and making the rest of you look a little more polished if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you for joining me I hope you found this helpful let me know if you guys try some of these techniques because I know once I started incorporating some of these into like my day-to-day -day without makeup oh my god changed the game thank you guys so much for tuning in I'll see you next week